Welcome to today's tutorial. So in this tutorial, we are going to discuss how we can represent um, given sets on a Venn diagram. All right. So if you have any questions, feel free to contact me using any of these lines on the screen. And don't forget to click on the subscription button and the notification button so that you don't miss out the videos that I'll be posting. All right. So the question is asking us to represent the sets on a Venn diagram. So this is simple. Let us. Uh, quickly begin so what I'm going to be doing is that I'll be drawing a sketch and the final uh, answer so let us start with a sketch of the Venn diagram so we have the universal set there and we have set A and set B so we have set A and set B yeah so firstly I'm going to shade what A is I'm, I've started with part one so we have A intersection, B complement. So I'll shade what A is. So A is simply just this part here. So now, after shading A, let me also shade, um, let me also shade uh, B complement. So B complement is just anything that is outside B. So I'm going to shade using these lines which are crossing like this. This is my B complement. So now, the part where these lines are meeting, are crossing each other, the ones that are like this and the ones that are like this, where they are crossing each other, that's where my solution lies. So my solution lies here. This is where my solution is. So if I am to draw this as a final, uh, final drawing, then it's going to be like this. So my A is there, B is there. So this is my A intersection, B complement. All right, so let's quickly move on to the next one. So the next one says we find, or rather we sketch, or we, pre we present uh, A intersection, B complement. So how do you present this on the Venn diagram? Simple, we do the same. So we do the sketch, the sketch is, um, a, we put A intersection B in the sketch. So A intersection B is this part here because our A is this one, B is this one. So A intersection B is just this part here. Now A intersection B complement, um, A intersection B complement, it means that everything, we can shade everything that is not um, part of this uh, part here. So we shade everything outside that small part in between that is our a intersection b complement and this is also the solution so there's no need for us to draw the final result because this is the solution you just need to shade outside this intersection part all right we quickly move on to the other part there the other part of the question which is a intersection b complement union a complement intersection b so we first have to shade A intersection B complement and then we we'll shade A complement intersection B. So A intersection B complement was this. If you remember, we shaded that one as our first question. So A intersection B complement was just this part. And A complement intersection, A complement intersection B is simply this part here. A intersection, A complement, intersection B is this part. And then we have A intersection B complement, which is this part. So now if they ask us to find the union set of these two, this is just, this is the final answer in short. There's also no need for us to draw another uh, sketch here, another drawing or another Venn diagram. This is the final answer. If it was intersection here, that's when we would have uh, shaded maybe the outside part of this question, right? So this is the solution. All right, so we quickly move on to this one. So this is also a very simple question. The question is A union B, then intersection A union B complement. So this is also a very simple question. So we draw the Venn diagram. The Venn diagram is this, and then we shared A union B. So this is my A, this is my B. A union B is simply just this part. 
So now we're, fi we're, tra we're trying to find the intersection between this part and A intersection, or rather A union B complement. So B complement is everything that is outside B. And when we find the, okay, let me draw this one alone. So A union B complement is going to be this. This is my B and this is A. So B complement is everything that is outside B. And then when we find the union set between A and uh, B complement, the union set between B complement and A, meaning we are also supposed to share this part. So this is going to be our A union B complement. And then when we find the union set, rather the intersection set between this and that, the intersection set between this and that is simply just uh, A. Yeah, it's simply just A. So the intersection set is simply just going to be, uh, it's just the same as shading A. So the final result will be this. Because if you look at the, the common element or the common shaded part between this set here, between this Venn diagram and this Venn diagram, simply just A. When you look at A here is shaded, even there A is shaded. Alright, so I think you can also simplify this to make your work easier. Because when you factor out A union, you are going to have A union and then you have B intersection, B complement. So a union B intersection B complement is simply just an empty set and A union empty set is simply just A this is the solution so th this is why we're, we're just shading A here we move on to the last uh, the second last part of the question we have A complement union A intersection B and then we have a complement another complement outside like that so this is what we have and uh, the first thing that you can do here is to, um, to, to us is to shade what is in the brackets there. So shading what is in the brackets, let me draw the Venn diagram. So we have A and B. Yeah, so we have, um, okay, let me do this. I think the best way we can do this, let's first simplify the expression. We have A complement, union. A intersection B complement and then we have a complement outside so we can start with what is in the brackets there so simplifying what is in the brackets we have a complement um, union open brackets this complement we have a complement intersection will change using the Morgan's law so we have a complement union uh, B complement we close we put a complement outside so we have a complement and a complement there so we're going to say a complement union a complement and then we say we have i think we're just going back to the same question so let's just begin to sketch just from here so we start from we start by shading what is uh, mean by sketching what is in the brackets there Okay, so sh sketching what is in the brackets, we have A intersection B complement. So if this is A and B, so A intersection B complement is simply just what is outside uh, A intersection B complement. What is just outside A intersection B? So if this is what we have, we can now find... Um, the union set between A intersection B complement and A complement. So A intersection B complement and A complement. The union is going to be, okay, so let's shade A complement here. So, and then we combine the diagrams. So we have A, B. So A complement is simply just what is outside. So now we shade the the what is the combination of this um uh, the combination of this this shading and uh, this shading so when we combine the two shadings 
this is just the same as saying um, so when we combine these two we discover that the result will be um, the result will just be like this it will just be this yeah so this implies that we are going to have this as the result in the brackets there so meaning we'll have something like this yeah so we have we are going to shade everything outside just leaving the intersection so this is what it means that's the reason why after simplifying this expression here um, we had uh, something like this a complement uh, union a complement um, union uh, when you open the bra the brackets there using the Morgans union B complement so a complement union a complement gives you what a complement and we say union B complement which if we use the Morgans this will be a intersection B complement and this is what we have here as the shading as the Venn diagram and then we have another complement outside so meaning what we are going to shade if we say a intersection B complement complement we are just going to remain with what a intersection B so shading this part is simply just um, the same as shading the complement of this whole solution meaning if we shade the complement of this whole solution is it's just the same as shading this part alone that's all that's what it means so the solution is just shading that middle part all right so we move on to the last part of the question we have this um, a complement intersection b complement intersection c so we can do this so this is our e universal set there and we draw a we draw b we also draw c so this is what we have so a complement if you want you can simplify this using the Morgans and that will be a union b complement so a union b complement simply just shading outside a union b that is a union b complement you shade outside um, a union b and then we are intersecting this with what with c so we're saying intersection c meaning if we add c to this uh, uh, solution we are shading this part so this is c which i'm shading so in this part where the lines are crossing that's where our solution lies meaning our, f our final solution is going to be We have A there, we have B there, and we have C. A, B, C. So our final solution is just going to be this part. So this is our solution. All right, thank you very much for watching today's tutorial. Um, if you have not yet subscribed to the channel, make sure that you click on the subscription button and the notification button so that you don't miss out the videos that I'll be posting. And if you have any questions or you want to join the online classes which I conduct, feel free to contact me using any of these lines on the screen. My name is Hamted. See you in the next tutorial video. Shalom, shalom.